I'm Chris Wilkinson, Wilkinson Air Architects. I'm standing in Gardens by the Bay in Singapore. On my left, we have the Super Tree Grove, and on my right, we have the cooled conservatories, which we call biodomes. The project here is about climate change and uh, exploring the potential of creating a new climate to suit particular plant and tree species. So when we have Kew Gardens, for instance, in England, we have the Palm House tropical uh, climate, which was created by the Victorians and gave British people the opportunity to see uh, exotic plants and palm trees and so on here. This is absolutely the reverse. We're in the tropics. One of the domes is a Mediterranean climate. And the other one is a cool, moist climate. Mediterranean climate is the preferred climate for most people. So it's very interesting to try to create that here in the tropics. And of course that means cooling, cooling the temperature, reducing the humidity. That's what's been achieved here, to enable them to grow the sort of plants that we're all familiar with, but they don't have here. And the other one, the, the moist one, is about making it even more humid, making it a very damp climate. So you get all these kind of exotic trees and plants from the, um, the dampness there. But it's still cooled, so it's a chilly sort of climate. I guess what I find interesting is that as an experiment of changing the climate, but doing it in an economical way in terms of energy. So all the energy here is produced on site, mainly from biomass. The biomass comes from uh, clippings of all the trees around Singapore, uh, the tons and tons each uh, year of cuttings. They clip the each tree at least once I think a year and that, that is turned into chippings which fire the boiler. So that's supplemented by some photovoltaics on top of the super trees which powers the lighting. And it rains a lot here but not every day. The plants need water every day. The water's recycled and uh, treated naturally here. The super trees is a brilliant idea by Andrew Grant, part of the landscaping. The landscape in Singapore is all quite low level, so they don't have very many large trees. And creating a park, it wouldn't have worked really if everything was very low at very low level. And Andrew wanted to get some focus to it. And uh, the super trees provide that. So the tallest one here is 50 meters high. It's got a cafe on top. That's you know quite tall as far as landscapes concerned. Obviously, there's Marina Bay Sands and quite a lot of business towers here. But in terms of the park, that provides the visual focus, and it's in a, in a grove or a clump with super trees. They're all part of the environmental story, collecting water and energy and so on, and they have plants growing up them because one of the uh, extraordinary aspects of this climate is that a plant will grow almost anywhere providing it's got light and water. You can just stick a plant on the wall and it will grow. So that's what Andrew has done really, uh, created a, a series of trays that the plants are growing up. So I think there's a curious sort of almost a piece of science fiction in a way where the um, the man-made and the nature come together. And I think as far as the park's concerned, it definitely is a draw. The, uh, the clump of super trees, since no one's ever seen anything like it before, I think, you know, it definitely attracts people. And the domes are the same, and the domes are pretty big. Um, but I think people are more familiar with domes. But, i just give you an idea of scale. If we're talking about the, the tallest super tree at 50 meters. The larger of the two domes is practically 200 meters by 100 meters in one column free space. So it's quite a, quite a big space. The other one's smaller but taller because it has this water feature inside that. There's actually a, a mountain created inside. 
with particular plants growing on the mountain and a lot of water involved which cascades down to create a, a waterfall at the entrance. So I, I don't think it's fair to call it a theme park but it's definitely um, designed to attract people of all ages and all types or nationalities as a sort of um, as a leisure facility.